matchup. Uh, coming out for SCA now is going to be Reborn, and we are going to have a ZVZ on our hands. How do you feel about ZVZ allegation? Oh, I think, you know, we've had this conversation uh, multiple times. Um, not with the same people, though. <laughs> not with the same people. I mean, I, I feel like ZVZ, frankly, is fairly uh, pretty, you know, one build exclusive, uh, despite the attempts to change it up. Uh, typically, you see early Ling and Bane Ling, and then you go into Mutalisk, and it's it's fairly, you know, uh, it's who gets the better shots off or who gets Mutalisks first, typically, are the ones who win. Um, so it's it's fun every time you see a little bit of a deviation from that standard. Uh, it's actually, I, I kind of like watching the, the Ling Bane Ling uh, micro in the early game as it really, it, it's got to be really intense for the players playing, you know, like trying to get those lings forward and then the bane lings back and then you know trying to keep track of everything just a lot of actions per minute a lot of concentration i can't imagine that it is a soothing experience but can be fun to watch <laughs> yeah and it's it, as with any mirror it's all in the control and they can win you or lose you the game mm -hmm. but with that i think we're ready to jump on into game number three into the zvz we've been talking about in the lower left hand corner of derelict watcher it is going to be from Gear in the Rear, our Green Zerg Spido. And in the top right hand corner representing Team StarCraft Ascension, playing Zerg, it is Reborn. So we will see what comes out of these players. This is a fairly decent sized two player map, I guess I would say. Some of the two player maps are fairly close. Uh, you know, Newkirk is pretty close, especially by air. Uh, but this one does have some, you know, nice obstructions in the middle of these holes, this little tower thing in the middle. But uh, so, you know, the early super duper aggression is a little bit tougher when it's that far away. You know, the Ling, Bane Ling battles, especially because if you don't Bane Ling speed, it takes them forever to get there. Yeah, typically you see people warping or morphing rather their Zerglings into Bane Ling somewhat close to their opponent's base. Uh, so they don't have to deal with that slow crawl across the map. It is a slow crawl, so we're having identical builds out of both players, just drones so far. Overlord's, uh, the Overlord from Spido is taking a slightly different path, so he's heading towards the third base of Reborn. The prize pool is uh, the DOS keyboard, the sponsor of SC2CTL, is giving five keyboards to the winning team. So there is that. And there is a North America and European division, albeit the European division is significantly smaller. Uh, but after the, we're going to have a live, played live and casted live finals coming up this Sunday starting at 11.30 Eastern Time. And that will decide the winner of the North American StarCraft II Community Team League. And after that we will have a global finals. Uh, yet to be determined exactly what time, but we will let you know. Follow at SC2CTL, at WingnetSC, and at Gallegation to know all about that. And the winner of that will get the keyboards. So, so far in this game, there's only been a slight deviation, which is that uh, Reborn got his pool before Hatch, and Spido went Hatch before pool. Uh, because of they kind of went down uh, in equal times to the other, I think that uh, it's ultimately going to even out a little bit. If anything, uh, Spido's going to be a little bit ahead in economy because that hatchery did come out somewhat sooner than his opponents, so he's going to be able to get more drones out. And gas also coming down faster for Reborn as well, so uh, I mean, the speed timing for Zerglings is really important too. I mean, if you can get I know this isn't true, but this is what it feels like when you're watching it, or even engaged in it. If you can get speed for your Zerglings, it feels like they're twice as effective when you actually come into those engagements. And we've seen a lot of people that, you know, go for a speed timing, just have their Lings sitting ready, and as soon as that speed finishes, they go in uh, trying to get as much damage done before their opponent's speed can finish as well, but we'll see if we see something like that as the gas is done and mining for Reborn faster than Spido. And Reborn does have two Lings in the base, does get a single drone kill, and now uh, Spido's two Lings come forward to try and do some damage to these Lings that are invading his territory, but they are going to get chased right on out. While we're waiting here, interesting fact, speaking of the European SC2 CTL division, the Team Vega squadron from Europe that has made it to the finals has a player on it named Firecake, and I don't know if anyone watches WCS Europe, but uh, I believe it was Thursday, 
Uh, Firecake was actually playing in Premier League from uh, the uh, from Vegas Squadron in StarCraft II Community Team League against MC. And those were some really entertaining, really fun games. So there's some pretty high-end people in the StarCraft II Community Team League. So it's cool, cool things. Yes, sir. Are you sure that was... I think that was maybe Tuesday. You said Thursday, but today is Thursday. Oh, yes. So Tuesday or Wednesday, one of the days. <laughs> one, of, one of those two days. At any rate, there's a blog post about it on StarCraft II or sc2ctl.com if you want to check that out. I think there's also VODs uh, on there of what happened. So here's the thing. Uh, speed is about to finish for Reborn and a Baneling Nest going down for Spido. So it's going to be Speed versus Banelings. And, you know, I think it, it could go either way, frankly. I mean, Banelings are so fickle. Like, they can be super powerful, but if you don't get good connections, then that can cost you uh, everything right there. Yeah, and it and looks like Reborn is going to try and press this issue now that Speed is finished as a large swell of Zerglings are just about to finish, and that Baneling Nest is still 20 seconds away from finishing. So it's going to be a moment before Banelings are out for Spido. And uh, this could be a difficult hold. But looking at the units, Spido has zero Zerglings. He has only drones and queens. But Zerglings coming in, this is going to be the issue. Oh, he tried no. to wall off the ramp, but he didn't. Zerglings got through, get a nice little surround on the queens. And these queens are eventually going to go down. Zerglings in the main base, Zergling in the natural. This is going to be tough for Spido. Reborn did pull back with a lot of those lings, as he did not like the number that he was losing. Uh, compared to the number that he was getting through or the area that he was getting on those queens. Oh my gosh, so what is Spido doing though? He made six drones right after that engagement came through. He still <laughs> has not made any units at all. He does have a few Zerglings here, but only making, looks like, four Banelings and a lot of drones. So he's definitely got a plan here. Now 14 Zerglings coming in, but luckily for him, Reborn did decide to call off that attack and take a third base and get himself well established and move into the next phase as his own Baneling Nest is about to finish. Yeah, but Spido does know about this third base of Reborn, so he's going to be able to do some damage there should he choose to. Although if he doesn't want to lose that Overlord, he might want to think about getting it out of there as a queen is about to finish. And as though he could read my mind through time. <laughs> I'm sure he could. <laughs> the choice is going to be Spire from Spido. I don't even think he made a single Baneling, did he? I do not think so. Yeah, so he opted just to go right straight for the Spire. Uh, so it's going to be Zergling Baneling, but oh my gosh, this Reborn is going to come press again with Zerglings. There is four Banelings now being morphed in on the ramp to the third base to try and hold that against all these Zerglings. But eight Banelings yeah. of the own from, from uh, Reborn as it is as well. Two are just going to head out and try and get some damage done, and oh, wow, great control there by Reborn. So as you predicted, uh, Reborn has a Spire going down as well, so we are going to see Ling, Baneling Muta Wars. Oh, great connection there for Reborn. Uh, is able to take out all of Spido's Banelings with only two of his own, Reborn. so this hatchery is going to be forced to cancel. Reborn does pull back with a good number of slings that Spido is going to push, and he's going to go for the oh. same thing. He's going to try and take out this third, but there is a lot... Well, there's not a lot of Zerglings here. There's a few. Looks like he's going to come right in and target this hatch down. Is he going to have enough Zerglings to get it down? Oh, the Zerglings of Reborn move actually out. That was a mistake, I think, because he's going to lose this hatch. And Reborn did move some Banelings into the natural mineral line of Spido, was able to get 13 drone kills in total this game. So both players trading blows. Reborn comes over, takes out the third of Spido. Spido returns in kind as well. If we look at the food, I mean, Reborn is significantly in the lead. Flyer and carapace that's... for both players going down at exactly the same time. They both have the same idea as there's an engagement out here in the middle. The, and Oh no, Spido's got to be so careful with these Banelings, but he was just not trading efficiently, and now he's only left with one against this giant force of Lings for Reborn. Single Ling moving forward, trying to pick off that Bane Ling, and now the main force goes, oh no! Bane Ling detonates on a single Zergling, so these Zerglings for Reborn are basically unhindered to do whatever they want, moving into the mineral line, getting tons of damage, killing queens off, killing drones, and behind this, Reborn is just getting Mutalisks. Yeah, and Spido making a couple Banelings, trying to make any effort he can to hold off some of these Zerglings. He does have some coming into the main to he'll clean this up, but what at what cost? He lost 26 drones in that engagement. 
two banelings coming in from Spido to try and catch these Zerglings off guard. Oh, the Spire being targeted down by Reborn, but the Zerglings are cleaned up, so we will be keeping that. But I'm not sure if it's going to matter as a huge group of Meatalisks are coming across the map now. Looks like 12 in total. So they are going to be able to do a decent amount of damage, and he does scout that that third base is back up, but deciding just to go straight in and try and do economic damage. There are no Spore Crawlers here, so these drones are going to be going down and seeing the Mutalisks, there's the GG. There's the GG. So, I mean, as you predicted, you called it exactly, Ling Baneling Muta, and it was all about the positioning. Spido uh, got down a bit early, but actually I was surprised how well he hung in. Yeah, Spido, I mean, again, it was it was due to good trades with Banelings, you know. When you can take out four Banelings with a cost of two to yourself, that's a good trade. And uh, he definitely had the numbers, the, and Spido just uh, not really able to get off the the numbers of Baneling hits that he wanted on the Zerglings, so that is tough.